be even more exciting to start the year by watching the most recent Chinese dramas that will inspire you to make it through this, the year of the rabbit in Chinese astrology. In this video, we'll give you a list of 100 Chinese dramas that aired in 2022. So, let's dive in. The Oath of Love As Xiao Zhan and Yang Jing's most anticipated drama, The Oath of Love is also likely to be airborne in March. The drama tells the story of a girl who has fallen to a low point in her life and gradually grows stronger and a beautiful story of harvesting love. Lin Ji Xiao is a cello major in the music department. In the face of the task of reality, love and the future suddenly lost the appearance they had imagined countless times. This brought a lot of shock to Lin Ji Xiao. At this time, Lin Ji Xiao and Gu Wei gradually became familiar with each other. The two went from exploring each other to truly expressing their intention. It is a long but sweet process. During this process, Lin Ji Xiao gradually regained her confidence in life, and Gu Wei, who sometimes become timid and avoided, also gradually grew into a truly mature person. This love joke between the two is full of healing energy. Mr. Bad This is meant to be a fairy tale. The story is effervescent with making a wish to fall in love. Chen Zheyuan is charming, and Shen Yue is delightful as the female lead. Is her character clumsy and silly? Yes, but it is cute and that is what this actress does so well. She is relatable, not perfect. The male lead is suave, handsome, and cunning. He's a villain with a bit of a kind heart. That is how the author wrote his character in her story. I think they have a Tom and Jerry type banter, and that's what makes it fun. <laughs> she and her perfect husband She and her perfect husband, starring Yang Mi and Shu Kai, has not yet started broadcasting. But it has been popular since the official announcement and is expected to start broadcasting before the end of this year. The story is also based on the characters of the royal sister in the workplace and the little wolf dog in the new year. Plus, the plot of love after marriage. It must be very sweet and easy to eat. She and her perfect husband tells the story of an elite lawyer, Chin Shi, and a senior otaku, Yang Hua, who were married by different circumstances, but unexpectedly found true love and joined hands to lead a beautiful and happy life. Please feel at ease, Mr. Ling. After running quite literally into our male lead in the delightful rom-com, Please Feel at Ease Mr. Ling, Zhao Lucy has no choice but to take care of the recovering amnesiac. In addition to nursing the unknown heir of an unspeakable fortune back to health, the two share a number of adventures that inadvertently draw them together. While every drama watcher knows that amnesia is a commonly used trope, the way it's executed in Mr. Ling makes it a whole lot of fun as, instead of being used to drive people apart, it's actually what brings them together. Pair that with a hilarious number of misadventures and an ever-growing amount of romantic tension between the leads and you've got a rom-com that's definitely worth watching. Why Women Love Why Women Love starred Jin Chen and Wang Ziyi. The combination of the workplace royal sister and the young wolf dog is very sweet and easy to eat. Wang Ziyi plays a professional racing driver in the play. All kinds of domineering and high-level confessions to his sister, plus a lot of kiss scenes also make people super excited. The plot of Why Women Love tells us about the protagonist Gu Jiaxin, who has never been interested in inheriting the family business, and instead became Zhao Jingyue's assistant 
under his mother's arrangement. The relationship between the two developed into romance over time and finally broke through many difficulties. The Story of Harvesting Love After the Age Limit A Dream of Splendor Our female lead is a tea house owner in Xiantang who must face her ill fate because of her broken engagement. She then goes to the place where her fiancé belongs. And on her way there, she meets friends who are willing to face difficulties together. After experiencing various tribulations, the three sisters finally manage to turn the small tea house into the largest restaurant in Bianjing. After a hard fight, she learned more and stopped hating her fiancé. She also opened a way for other humble women in ancient times to find the same kind of salvation. Lost in the Kunlun Mountains During the Republic of China, Ding Yunqi, who is in the process of investigating the disappearance of his father, accidentally discovers the secrets of the Kunlun ruins. He eventually inherits his father's will to guard the guardianship of the relics of the ruins and faces tests of love, friendship, and betrayal as he attempts to resolve an impending crisis. Ordinary Greatness Ordinary Greatness stars Zhang Ruoyun, Bai Lu, and Xu Kai Cheng. The story follows four fledgling police officers from the Balihe Police Station who experience various cases at the Balihe Police Station in Pinging City, grew rapidly under the leadership of the old policemen, and finally became qualified policemen. The plot is full of tears and laughter, and the ending made everyone cry. Number 8. Hello My Love You can bite into this drama and get the story from three protagonists of different ages and personalities who are in a difficult situation in life. In the face of betrayal, deception, and traps, they break through the bottleneck of life with sincerity and persistence, ushering in the highlights of their lives and meeting a better version of themselves. If you like travel stories like this, there's nothing against giving Hello My Love a try. My Girlfriend is an Alien 2 My Girlfriend is an Alien is one of the most popular Chinese modern dramas. I really didn't have that much hope for it because most of the time, the second season can't beat the first. But this one did. Yes, the storyline of season 2 is much better than that of season 1. The actors, Bie, Wan Peng, and Wang Yujun all did an excellent job again. At the end of season 1, Chai Xiaoqi leaves Earth. Two years later, she returns. It was a happily ever after ending. The sequel starts with her wedding to Fang Leng in 2021 upon her return. In the middle of their wedding, Chai Xiaoqi is taken back to her planet against her will. A Familiar Stranger The female lead is a painter who helps the people in the brothel paint their pictures. One day, she is told to paint a promiscuous picture of the second female lead, aka the evil lady, and the prince having sex. She gets drugged and wakes up with the evil lady's face. The evil lady is also holding her older sister hostage. The evil lady commands the female lead to find an item that belonged to the previous prince who died. Also, the evil lady was engaged to the male lead, the general. So now, the female lead has the evil lady's face and becomes the general's wife. This is not a fluffy youth drama and it seems like there was a decent budget and thought spent on its production for a short web series. It's not a high budget drama like some of the hyped up full-fledged sea dramas. For a short web series, it was decent and above par compared to its peers. Uh. 
从哪儿听来这个说法？我我在书上看到的。Remembrance of things past. Sometimes we hunt for something mindlessly simple or painfully heart-wrenching to immerse ourselves in, but other times we find ourselves looking for a relatable and realistic drama about grown-ups and the challenges of life. The remembrance of things past is just that. The drama depicts the lives of a group of eight millennials in Beijing. Just like any person of their age, they face numerous challenges in life, from career and love. Nonetheless, they all cling to their dreams and try their best to cope. The drama captures viewers' interest with its strong female characters. These fast-paced lives are full of trouble. This drama will bring you to tears as well as smiles, as well as everything else in between. Ratan. Jing Tian and Zhang Binbin star in Ratan. Although it is a suspense-themed drama about the Republic of China, their chemistry is really good. The two are five years apart in reality, and they are a super match. Ratan is adapted from the novel of the same name. The plot tells the story of designer Qin Fang accidentally falling into a cliff during his journey to find his roots, and accidentally awakening Si Tang, an alien descendant who has been sleeping for decades. After the two met. They guarded each other and grew up together. Love the way you are. The sweet love story of Yin Yi Ke and her childhood partner Shu Guangxi. For love, Guangxi tries to become more mature and adjust his footsteps, taking firm steps towards Yi Ke. The two throbbing hearts, who have experienced countless challenges and choices. Start getting closer little by little. They understand that the best love is not to sacrifice each other. They attract and respect each other, so they can both become better people. Also, then I won't go with you to eat lunch, otherwise I'll say something. Okay, then I'll go. Bye. Wait a minute. Hello, my girl. This drama is a pretty good one because its focus is on two clubs. The male lead is in a movie or film club, while the female lead is trying to establish an entrepreneur club. They tell their stories and encounters. These two clubs share the same space. The female lead does a lot of selling things on the side, from makeup to snacks and even slippers. The male lead tries to create movie events to attract more people to come to the movie club. Together. They try to survive in their respective fields and be the best version of themselves. Have a problem? You. We have some business stuff. Love is an accident. A girl stumbles upon Jiang Hu's top mountain pavilion. Never imagining she would come to pose as the young master's future wife. We are two separate worlds. Eating love is too difficult. More than that, we are still separated. Hello, the sharpshooter. Sports dramas have always been popular in Sea Drama Land, especially with the upcoming Beijing Winter Olympics in 2022. While we've seen hockey, speed skating, ice skating, and even curling take place. In the main stage in many Chinese dramas, this is the first time a show focuses on pistol shooting. Even though pistol shooting is a static sport, Hello the Sharpshooter still manages to get our adrenaline pumping for the games, while keeping its audience educated on the different aspects of the sport. This is also a must-watch 2022 Chinese drama if you're a big fan of Hu Yitian. Nothing but you. This is the kind of nice drama to watch while waiting for a great one to come. If you are looking for a drama to watch that has a cute and sweet female lead, and a hot, smart but slightly wicked male lead, then this is the series for you. The story was about twin sisters who had the same face but different personalities. The female lead had to pretend to be her sister, a successful producer in the entertainment industry. When the latter was heavily injured in a hit-and-run accident, 
The plot twist here was that the male lead was not your typical kind-hearted hero who just wanted his beloved to be happy. He can be crafty in every possible way to win the girl's heart. However, he was fully devoted to her, and his love for her was consistent throughout the series. Don't forget my love. The play tells the story of Jun Ling Chuan, Yun Chan Yu, and Yan Qi escaping court politics and falling into love entanglements. Jun Ling Chuan unexpectedly discovered a secret that was enough to subvert the Dai Yu Kingdom. My Blue Summer The carving on the rooftop represents our female lead's declaration of love that she could never say out loud. She was looking forward to starting anew, only to realize that her crush was at the same university as her. The two gradually grow close, but don't dare express their feelings. What will become of this secret love when real-life pressures come one after another? Binary Love In this drama, our female lead is the type of student who is good at some subjects, but fails horribly at others. Through the meticulous study plan laid out for her by straight-A student Fang Yu K, she not only manages to catch up, but also gains admission to the top university in the country. After school starts, she accidentally gets herself into a huge mess with a rising tennis star, and also forms a sisterly bond with her doormates. With the help of her friends, it looks like her long-distance marathon of love has finally reached the finish line. However, the two leads encounter various tests along the way, yet from beginning to end, for the two of them, there is only you. Uh, he says that he's your boyfriend, right? And he volunteered to be the model today. Do you agree? Yeah. <laughs> Shining for one thing Have you ever wished you could go back in time to straighten out your mistakes and leave no regrets? Shining for one thing speaks out to all the adults who are entering their 30s by rekindling their youthful courage and passion. Relive the joys and sorrows of your younger self through Lin Bei Xing as she takes a second shot in life in this best 2022 Chinese drama. Blue Flame Assault Although Ren Jialun is a male god in ancient costumes, he actually played the firefighter role, which is surprising. Blue Flame Assault tells the story of Li Shi Cheng, who joins the firefighter team with the aura of a hero, but is hit with ruthless reality. Deputy Captain Ye Chi Heng made a special training plan to hone these new team members into real special service elites. After facing life and death situations, the team eventually forged a profound friendship within the squadron. My lucky princess. There is a secret curse on Bei Yan's royal family. The emperors are ill-fated to die in their prime. Prince, who don't want to be chosen as the crown prince, and the emperor's successor do what they can to make it look like they don't deserve to be chosen. She's working against him, which makes him sad because she's doing everything she can to make sure her future husband gets the throne. Time to fall in love Our female lead is forced to take the place of her twin sister and gets into a contractual relationship with a wealthy president to make his sick grandmother happy because she wants him to find love. Her sunny and optimistic personality melts the icy outer shell, revealing a warm and soft heart. The joys of love are battered by the pain of her lies, keeping her real identity from him. But what can Su Yanshi do when she's unable to reveal the truth? Number 2. Lighter and Princess Welcome to the much-anticipated drama. Chen Fei Yu and Zheng Jingyi, two rookie actors, 
who have recently risen to prominence, starred in this drama. The story focuses on the relationship between a cool and calculating computer programmer and a clean living and innocent young woman. They just started campus life, but they have a different situation, where he gains special admission while she must work hard to fit what society expects of her. Although they seem to butt heads at first, they start to cherish their time together. But when a life-changing event threatens to pull them apart just as they were starting to fall in love, their love is about to be put to the ultimate test. Li Xue? Go. You're Li Xue. Who rules the world? Bai Feng Shi is a female swordsman who lives and speaks freely, wild as the wind. Meanwhile, Hei Feng Shi is the complete polar opposite, graceful, honorable, and tolerant. As the martial arts world sinks into a chaotic time, can the two uphold justice without losing themselves and find greater love in each other? Starring our golden boy Yang Yang and national goddess Zhao Lucy, who rules the world will mark the first collaboration between the two powerhouses. Having seen Yang Yang's awesome chemistry with A-listers like Zheng Huang, Dil Rabadil Murat, and Liu Yifei, we are excited to see sparks fly between him and the young Zhao Lucy. There is no way this show won't make it onto our must-watch Chinese drama list for 2022. Party A Who Lives Beside Me A workplace romance follows Ye Xuan, who discovers that her next-door neighbor is none other than the domineering Party A. Ye Xuan is a rookie designer with dreams of her own. She encounters her next-door neighbor, Li Zhenan, and their interaction grows from endless bickering to feelings of romance. Unexpectedly, Li Zhenan is actually Party A, who has been making things difficult for Ye Xuan. In learning to lean on each other and share their burdens, they form a bond of trust as they overcome a workplace crisis together. Fall in Love this drama tells a story similar to the one in the previous title. Our male lead is the young and promising heir of Fu's Anju group, who developed an alternate personality because of his childhood kidnapping experience. He is handsome, but indifferent. When he met our female lead, his consciousness gradually awakened. He uses her body to help him get through the hard times, taking advantage of the short amounts of time that sometimes flash. He also watches and realizes that he is falling in love with her. Number 7. Almost Lover Our female lead is the MC of a late night radio show. She secretly loved her close male friend, but instead of ending up with him, she had to watch on helplessly as he pursued his dreams of love with another woman. She then chooses to give up on her love and leave the town. But as fate plays a game with them, their paths cross again, and this time, he appears determined to right his previous wrongs. He tells her that he has never stopped thinking of her, but is it too late for reconciliation? Or could Cupid find a way to turn back the clock on a relationship that never was, but always should have been? <laughs> Being a hero Chen Xiao and Wang Yibo star in Being a Hero. Wang Yibo in particular is always passionate about everything he takes on. He was already excellent in The Untamed, and he was also excellent in this drama. His transformation from an eager beaver police officer to a passionate person trying to uphold the law and order is wonderful to watch. This drama really dished out the gritty police world as they tried to wipe out drug trafficking in Yunhe. Da Huang 
饭堂你不想要了吗？老庄那边娘怎么想来？ My mermaid boyfriend. Our female lead is a college student maturing in art. She is heartbroken because of a painful breakup. Suddenly, Anatoly Mercury, a hot mermaid, appears and accompanies her. They gradually fall in love as he completes the task of getting a true love kiss. Cheng Si, a gentle senior, is both an assistant and a crisis in their relationship. As long as they have faith in fairy tales, there will be a happy ending. Love is forbidden here. In order to fulfill her grandmother's wish, college student Jia Su Cheng joins the charity tour in place of her sick twin brother. She was accompanied by a group of band boys every day, but unexpectedly attracted special attention from her seniors. On the one hand, she was busy covering up her real identity, and on the other hand, she had to deal with the internal and external troubles of the band. At this moment, they urgently needed a real estate to prove themselves. A youth full of passion and dreams, friendship and love kicked off. A new life begins. Our first drama list will make you both happy, delighted, and frustrated at the same time, because the story started with an interesting point: how the lead got married. Our heroine is a low-key person who just wants to work hard and not get selected in the marriage selection for the prince of the country. But unfortunately, she caught up with the sixth prince. And was then forced to marry him as a concubine. They start dating out of the blue, and together they start a new life where they face many challenges and help each other get through them. Love behind the melody. The main story focused on revealing the story and who was behind the fire, which caused 13 musicians to die. Our female lead gets transported back to an older age because she is also Pipa. Her soul gets into the body of Li Runyang, who knows how to play the Pipa. In order for the female lead to go back to her own life, she has to help Li Runyang complete certain things, like divorcing her husband. And finding the person that saved her in a fire long ago, and marrying him, it's like the story had two things they were trying to show. The first is about the fire, and the second is about the female lead's journey to find her way home, aka finding her lover. Overall, for anyone looking for a sweet, delightful, and stress-relieving short drama to watch, I highly recommend this drama. My Little Happiness. Xing Fei stars as Zhuo Rong, a determined young woman with dreams of becoming a lawyer, and Tang Xiaotian as Wen Xiaoqing, a surgeon who finds himself in need of legal aid. My Little Happiness is a fun little rom-com that proves you can't escape the strings of fate, no matter how hard you try. Defying her mother's wishes to study abroad, Zhuo Rong not only tricks her mother into believing she's studying abroad. But goes on to take an internship at a local law firm. While that little bit of trickery is humorous enough in its own right, it's the highly tangled mess she finds herself in when she takes on her first case that really drives this drama. Not only is her first client a talented surgeon, he is also her childhood friend, her landlord, and her next door neighbor. With so much going on in this leading lady's life, there's never a dull moment. Which is exactly why this drama was one of this past year's best. The romance of Hua Rong too. Hua Rong and Qin Shang Cheng were due to marry, but a hasty imperial decree changed all that. Hua Rong was commanded to wed a hostage and a foreigner, Prince Mu Bai, easing the tensions between their two countries. Qin Shang Cheng and Hua Rong now have no choice but to head to this neighboring kingdom to salvage the situation. Song Yi, Xiao Bai Ge. 
。多谢世子。不过这花在天楚的寓意外。Destined to meet you. This story starts quite like the usual contract marriage drama. She had to marry someone urgently, and he was one of the good candidates out there. So she married him. But the twist is that it may look like she forced him into this marriage, but he actually came on his own. It gets so funny with all kinds of embarrassing and awkward silly comedy. Her trials, his denial, etc. Falling into your smile. Set in the competitive world of esports, falling into your smile highlights all the possibilities that await those who are willing to think and act outside of the proverbial box. Shu Kai's Lucy Cheng may be a hard-nosed professional gamer, but when he meets Cheng Xiao's plucky Tong Yao, everything changes. Together, they're posed to turn the male-dominated world of esports upside down, which is what makes this drama so much fun. There's nothing more satisfying than watching a cold pro gamer turn into a loving, supporting fanboy who wants nothing more than to watch his lovely lady dominate the world of pro gaming. Okay, 就直接关直播走人了，脸超级丑。哦。所以呢？明天还有课。Falling into you. The next list comes from rookie actor Wang Anyu. Who becomes more mature in this drama? The plot revolves around his journey to overcome limitations in his dreams. Then he meets a woman coach who teaches him to be a world-class high jumper. Despite facing a number of challenges and setbacks, he refuses to give up. Does he have what it takes to turn his lifelong dreams into reality with the support of his coach and teammates? Number four, the Neuron Doctors. A renowned hospital is recruiting experts from all over the world to assist with the establishment of a world-class research and treatment center. Our heroine is a Chinese medicine apprentice who has been abroad for many years, and our hero is the son of a Western medicine doctor who just returned from studying in Sweden and emerged as the top candidate. The two best young resident doctors began an exciting competition. And cooperative relationship with their friends. Thank you. Then what did I do? Normal work. Then you run around. A robot in the orange orchard. It is about Yang Shan Shan, who loves invention. By chance. He has to pretend to be a robot and join Lu Sen, the domineering president of IMU, with physical contact disorder. In life, the two gradually open their hearts in the company of day and night, and a battle of wits and courage, which finally yielded a love story of love and growth. I will also miss you, the third one. Really? You will miss me, the third one. To our ten years, a love story from the school campus to the workplace follows the Wen family's youngest daughter, Wen Heng, and the Yan family heir, Yan Shi. In the face of stiff competition, conflicts are inevitable, and their friendship is put to the test. Throughout the ten years, they grew up, matured, and learned the preciousness of family and friendship. Under the lead of Wen Heng and Yan Shi, the young heirs work together to overcome the hurdles, reaffirming their relationship and friendship in the process. Sassy Beauty, with her superb makeup skills, solid product knowledge, and accomplished technique, our lead soon became a successful online influencer. Her engaging manner had easily won the favor of her female audience. Now fully entrenched in the past, she recognizes that behind these beautiful faces hide the same joyful or painful story she left behind in the modern world. My Calorie Boy. The story is about a group of 17-year-olds who help and accompany each other while growing up. Whether in hard times or not, they banded together and helped one another, even if it was in a backwards way. But 
that's what made it so believable and funny. Because it was based on real teenage lives as they moved from 11th grade through 12th grade and into taking their college entrance exams to decide what they wanted to do with their lives. Parents and their relationships, plus fights, parties, and togetherness. This series had it all. It's an underrated little gem that should be seen. Light Chaser Rescue A devastating earthquake has occurred in Xichuan. Lawyer Luo Ben has gone to the disaster-stricken area to look for his younger sister, Luo Yuan. It's there that he comes into contact with the rescue unit under the leadership of Captain Xin Shan. Luo Ben also encounters Zhan Yan, with whom he's had bad blood with in the past. However, he soon changes his mind about her as he comes to admire her selflessness and brilliance as a doctor. Luo Ben bears witness to the people's sense of camaraderie in the face of adversity and becomes deeply inspired by their volunteer efforts. Luo Ben, along with Xiong Fei, Zhao Min Ming, and Ding 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 are the new recruits to the team. They survive Captain Xing Shan's training from hell and put their lives on the line in every rescue and disaster relief operation that pits them against earthquakes, fires, floods, and typhoons. At the end of the day, they finally grow into an elite rescue unit. Reset As Dramaland resets itself with the beginning of another year, viewers get the opportunity to kickstart 2022 with an awesome sea drama right here. At the beginning of its run, the availability of good subtitles was somewhat hampered by a lack of involvement from major OTT streaming platforms for international markets. Fortunately, as the weeks went by and more viewers started watching it, the fanbase for the drama gradually grew, affording it the recognition that it deserves. Reset is a time loop drama in the mold of Groundhog Day, Deja Vu, Happy Death Day, and Source Code. The protagonist, a college girl, and a young game designer mysteriously find themselves reliving a bus explosion each day. Why this is happening to them, and more importantly, how they free themselves from this catastrophic cycle are central to the narrative. Dine with Love The series tells the story of an influencer man who doesn't know how to cook and doesn't even have a kitchen, but wants to have a platform for food creation. Together with our female lead, he begins to learn not only about cooking and food, but also how to steal her heart. It is one of the most important ingredients for any romance fan. A good happy ending requires the audience to go through anticipation, warm fuzziness, heartbreak, frustration, and finally happiness. Dine with love won't disappoint you, and your heart will be full when they kiss in the final scene. Ms. Buyer. This drama follows the story of a Shanghai drifter who works her way up the ladder to become an accomplished buyer. Our female leaders face failures in love and in the workplace. She joins a reality show to prove herself and lands a job in a profession that is completely foreign to her. As a rookie buyer, she clashes with fashion extraordinaire Zhao Mo Yuan. They start to dislike each other right away, but the problems they face help them find their place in the industry in the long run. Out with the bang. Our male lead is a professional esports player who is about to face retirement. In order to stand on the highest stage of the podium, he gave up treatment for injuries, and the moment he returned home, he met a hot-blooded girl was going around recruiting players for her grassroots esports team. After her unremitting efforts, he decided to join this team. The team is not only faced with strong rivals, but runs into trouble with people ranging from gaming newbies to gaming masters. A Romance of the Little Forest The story about a design blogger who depends simply on cosmetics to keep up with her appearance needing to utilize her magnificence to fight back against the one who once dismissed her. 
denotes the beginning of a sweet romantic tale that takes the two from the ground to the open country. Number 10. Arrogant Lady Adapted from a novel starring Wang Runze and Ji Mei Han, Arrogant Lady is an urban woman's cool drama with various elements such as revenge and sweet romance. It tells the story of Ye Wang Ye, an animal in a humble society who accidentally traveled through and became the vicious female supporting character in the novel A Thousand Gold. In order to return to reality, she opened the plot of the novel. In order to get back to reality, she went on a journey that involved getting better and fighting monsters, as the plot of the book shows. Number 6. Since I Met You The play tells the story of Cheng Mu, the manager of a dessert shop, and Jiang Si Han, a rich food blogger. Thanks to yummy desserts and the cute kid Rui Rui, the two journeyed into becoming a happy family of three by accident. The murder in Cairo Tay. There was a fire in the middle of the night at Cairo Tay that was caused by a man. Even though our female lead managed to stay alive, she was severely burned, disfigured, and had a mark on her neck from being strangled. And everyone suspected that her boyfriend, the rich second generation Cheng Cheng, was the person behind everything. The fire alarmed the police and they start to investigate everything, not only the arson, but everyone in the Gao family. The Blast Bride This is a very short drama that tells us about a girl who is sent by her brother to the prince to take revenge from him, as her family and his family are enemies. She did what her brother was telling her to do by sending messages through Pigeon, and this prince knew but he was confused that his wife was really thinking of him as an enemy or she was innocent and she was forced to or really she was cunning. On the other hand, she also thought that he was her family's enemy or that he was a good person. Stop Ex-Wife A short drama with only 3-4 to four minutes per episode. This will take you to the story of a man who is forced to marry an ordinary girl, Xu Xiaoyan. He breaks her heart because of many misunderstandings. After he finally gets his divorce, he realizes that he has lost his true love. Watch it if you like these types of dramas with the male lead regretting and trying hard to get his old love back. Better a lie than the truth. Adapted from a novel, this fast paced, ridiculous short drama is also a cute, cheesy, fluffy drama that might have you wanting more. It's got all the goods if these are what you like. I'm hoping this drama gets a lot of attention. It's not the best thing out there, but I think it's entertaining and fun. Number 5 Winter Night the story began when our female lead was hit by double blows in her career and love life as she struggled in the big city. By chance, she becomes the recipient of a relocation package. After she goes back to her hometown, a fireball meteor causes a magnetic storm that pulls her into a parallel space and time. What was a broken family is whole again. Her first love miraculously reappears. Unable to return to her world, she seizes the chance to make up for her past regrets. However, just as her life takes a turn for the better, the fireball appears again and they are about to become two lovers divided by two worlds. Okay. <laughs> Chasing the Undercurrent Chasing the Undercurrent is a Chinese drama that performed very well on this summer's schedule. 
starring Huang Jingyu and Yang Yuning. The plot of Chasing the Undercurrent follows Chang Zheng, a deputy captain of the Criminal Police Brigade, who is investigating a shooting case in a suburban villa when he arrested criminal suspect Zhao Pengxiang. As a result, he was involved in the death of Zhao Pengcheng, the second prosecutor of the Zhao family, and he became a wanted criminal. With the help of a secret team of investigators sent by the Ministry of Public Security to find out the truth, Chang Zheng confronted his family and lovers and found out what his real life was like. Cute Bodyguard We open our list with the latest drama from our beloved Liu Tei. He'll be portrayed as Gu Rong Yang, a boss who needs a bodyguard. A seemingly cute girl with supernatural abilities is hired as Gu Rong's bodyguard after an accident brings two people from seemingly different worlds together. Nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you again is an urban melodrama, which is Li Xiao Ran's return in 2022 after I Have You in This Life. This drama focuses on the marriage and love lives of urban men and women. The story will focus on Lin Xiao Tao, who unswervingly pursues his ideals in life, and Jian Ai, who is gentle and sober and realizes independent values. Discovery of Romance to choose the one who loves you, or the one that you love. This tells the story of a woman's growth and evolution in love as she is faced with her ex and her current boyfriend, who both have very different personalities. Imperial Cuisine Recently, the drama has been officially set and will be aired on February 22nd. Imperial Cuisines is a court for drama which mainly tells the story of the young Li period of the Ming Dynasty. The girl, Yao Jijin, played by Wu Jinyan, entered the palace and was selected as the maid of the Shangxi Bureau. Growing up in the deep palace and insisting on the pursuit of gourmet skills all the way, getting to know friendship and encountering love in the story of Trace, and turns with Ju Chanji, played by Xu Kai. In addition to the food in the play, the second cooperation between Xu Kai and Wu Jinyan is also very exciting. Female CEO, love me. It tells the story of Xia Meng Wei, the rich bossy female CEO who talks harshly but is actually soft hearted, and Guyan, the handsome salesman who is honey tongued with perfect life skills. Xia Meng Wei falls in love with Guyan at first sight and takes off his shirt when they meet again. A feel good series that's definitely great to watch on days when you just want to chill, feel giddy, and enjoy a show without any big and stressful dramas. Under the Skin A series where the young artists or college students team up with veteran police officer to solve a series of murders and thefts. Somehow, a police officer's past is involved in all of these events. And the other person is a god-gifted genius who can see the intricacies of events and try to solve them together. Under the Skin keeps you on the edge of your seat with thrills and suspense at the end of every episode. I believe this drama is worth the binge. Those who watch this will feel addicted to consuming the whole drama in one sitting. See you again. The play tells the story of the 1930s. The Republic of China movie star Xiang Jin Yu was accidentally shot on the set and traveled to the modern age. So, he started a high sweet love affair 
with the 18th Lion screenwriter, Jin Ah Yin. At the same time, he's looking for the story of the truth behind his death. Xiang Qin Yu, played by Hu Yi Tian, is a movie star of the Republic of China, who is cold on the outside and hot on the inside, but also has a good taste and understands life. Hello, my shining love. Hello, my shining love tells the story of the gold medal broker, Du Gu Ruonan. Her dream is to create an artist of the highest standard in the form of a craftsman. She insists on professionalism, dedication, and strict adherence to the bottom line for the devil economy. However, Du Gu Ruonan met Ji Mo, the nemesis in her life, an elite in the fashion industry who was well versed in psychology. After Ji Mo met the turbulent Du Gu Ruonan, the two were incompatible with each other, but they had a fatal attraction. In the end, Dugu Ruonan, the domineering and shy little devil on the outside, finally captured the big iceberg of asceticism, Ji Mo. Timed Love The story is about an editor who accidentally enters a parallel universe because of a time transmitter created by scientist Zhao Yuhang for that universe. Thus, their love story across time and space begins. Hello, my shining love. This is a story about two exemplary individuals who are aces in their respective fields. Bearing emotional scars from the past, they start on a journey of healing to discover their brightest selves. Immortal Samsara Yang Ji will be portrayed as the sole descendant of the ancient tribe. She fell in love with Lord Ying Yuan, which resulted in her wasting the following 800 years forgetting him. Now, the supportive Yu Mo enters her life, encouraging her daily to perform good deeds. While punishing evil, they encounter Lord Ying Yuan's current reincarnation, Tang Zhao, the demon hunter. They assist Tang Zhao in his quest to locate the four ancient artifacts, uncovering an even more mysterious secret. Can the trio find the evidence they need, despite the dangers? Love at first days If you want to enjoy this mini-drama, leave your logic aside for a while and just your interests and morals will do the work. It's a simple, sweet, cute, funny, fluffy, warm drama and a bit of a thrill is added as well. They definitely make a good pair. It has a lot of skin as well, which makes it sweeter. A diabetic can handle this. Well, if you think you can do that, then go ahead. 1. Maid's Revenge The first starter drama on this list is Maid's Revenge. As the name suggests, this drama has a revenge story in which the maid lead is domineering and the girl is strong and smart. There's a slap and a mother that is evil that you might think is one of the luckers. It's fun to watch. It's just too sad that it's just a very short series, like wanting more after one episode. Ms. Buyer A story that follows a Shanghai drifter who works her way up the ladder to become an accomplished buyer. Our female leaders face failures in love and in the workplace. She joins a reality show to prove herself and lands a job in a profession that is completely foreign to her. As a rookie buyer, she clashes with fashion extraordinaire Zhao Mo Yuan. They become instant frenemies but the trials they encounter eventually pave the way for them to find their place in the industry. Modern Marriage The story follows a full-time mom re-entering the workforce and the adjustments she and her family have to make. Chaos starts when our female lead gets into a competitive relationship with her husband's company, Sheng. She needs her husband to share more family responsibilities, which also becomes a source of conflict. Things get so bad that the two are battling for divorce. Through their repeated confrontations in the workplace and relationship problems, they gradually mature as individuals. My Kung Fu Girlfriend Our female lead accidentally becomes the female bodyguard of the popular actor Yuan Fan. Yuan Fan is perturbed by her, as he always feels that she has two faces. 
how she acts at night and during the day, is completely different. It turns out that when the popular martial arts game New Duo Luo Continent endorsed by Yuan Fan was shut down, NPC Bo Ye accidentally crossed into the real world when chasing down the villain Nightmare and possessed her. Now she and Yuan Fan are caught in a series of conspiracies, and they also discover that their fate has long been destined. Falling into your smile When the International, or TI, was held in China in 2019, the drama was filled with memorable esports dramas like Gank Your Heart, Go Go Squid, and The King's Avatar. The rage of esports dramas continues strong even in 2021, with Falling Into Your Smile, headlined by the hottest stars like Cheng Xiao and Xu Kai, or Fu Cha Fu Hang in Story of Yanxi Palace. For those craving to see some in-game action and relive the excitement of TI, this is the best 2021 Chinese drama for you. My Rich Little Brother the story of a girl with a low-income family background who encountered a little boy who kept following her. Even though he had the appearance of an 8-year-old boy due to PTSD, he was already 17 years old. Several years later, the boy, unable to forget about her, who had now graduated from college and started working, looked for her and pursued her with every possible method. However, there were many obstacles between them including their very different family backgrounds and his arranged marriage. Would they ultimately become a couple and have a happy ending? Number 9. When We Meet This story involves a twin, but not a sibling protagonist. I think you should know what I mean. They have the same face and mentality, but come from different backgrounds. Okay. This is not a time travel story, but our protagonist has twins. One is a popular high school girl, and the other is a talented artist working for a gallery house. As challenges mount both personally and professionally for both men, can they find themselves in time? Or risk losing everything they care about most, including each other? <laughs> Plot Love 2 Our hot young mother was forced to marry the domineering president, Lu Nan, in order to save her family. However, during the process of getting to know each other, the two soon parted ways due to misunderstandings. Cupid's Kitchen The story of a young girl who is making her way as a chef, and the chef who is her mentor. It has a great plot with a lot of intrigue. You are engaged in the story. There was lots of character growth for all the characters involved, which I liked. Overall, a very good story. Who knows, you might even get some cooking tips thrown in. This is a food drama with a pinch of comedy and very small sprinkle of romance. If you are looking for food, then this is the right drama for you. Rewriting Destiny This is a story about a Manhua character, Xia Yu Bing, changing the lives of other Manhua characters in the world by maintaining high readership ratings and preventing the Manhua from getting axed, thus preserving her own life. She does this by employing various familiar business models that are frequently used in the real modern world. The Manhua artist's initial story had a dark beginning, but as she made changes to her storyline, Xia Yu Bing also independently changed her fate in her world. Rock Sugar Summer Lai Tui Tui is a young college student who dreams of becoming a successful artist. She had a little talent or ability when it comes to math, English, and other subjects. She is in serious danger of failing if she does not do something about her academic performance. Chang Zhou, a straight-A student, agreed to help her if she pretends to be his girlfriend. 
When a love rival appears on the scene, the whole rouse of threatened to break apart. Will lie to Itui improve her terrible grades? And will she find love on the way to an A? Romance of the Little Forest Our next list comes from popular actors Fin Zhang and Yu Shu Xin. In this drama, the story starts with a fashion blogger's journey, who relies purely on makeup to maintain her appearance. She wants to use her beauty to retaliate against the man who once rejected her. That marks the start of a sweet love story that takes the two from the campus to the countryside. Farewell Vivian Lin Yu, who plans everything, and Chen An An, a smart and quick-witted girl, were deskmates in high school for a short time. After eight years of separation, they reunited under the same roof. Despite their different personalities and disputes, they often comfort each other. However, what they don't know is that a wonderful fate called Vivian had already sprouted eight years ago and connected the hearts of these two. Because of Vivian, they fell in love with each other, and eventually, they will bid farewell to Vivian and be a better version of themselves. Decreed by Fate an imperial decree forces two strangers, a princess and a general, to become engaged. The princess does not care for the cold-faced general. Foreseeing divorce in her future, she decides to establish a divorce office. Smile for life It's a sweet romance with a super cute female lead and the male lead is very sweet to her. This drama had some potential, but it ended up falling short. I think because the main genre has been done so many times. A contracted marriage slash relationship between a star and a normal person, it doesn't bring much excitement. As for the storyline, it's pretty cliche. They get together to cover up a scandal. They have to act very lovey-dovey and eventually fall in love. But the female lead doesn't want to ruin the life of the male lead with her sickness. After so many fantasy and not-so-good acting dramas, this is the kind of drama to enjoy and relax with. The Queen System A modern-day actress is reborn in ancient times as a proud princess who endeavors to win the queen's throne. The Story of Xing Fu The story of Xing Fu is adapted from the novel and tells the story of a woman whose name means happiness, a country girl who taught herself law step by step and was eventually revered as a barefoot lawyer. We originally thought it would be a more serious reality drama, but we didn't expect the previews to look so light and interesting, with a lot of humorous elements mixed with the sadness and helplessness of real life. You can look forward to it. To be a brave one. The story is about a widow who starts her life from scratch and grows step by step. In the midst of her journey, she meets her childhood friends, who now become her guardians. 9. Warm Time Video This is a mini drama about a male and female leads trying to fight for custody of the child. This child is the male lead's brother and the female lead's sister whose parents died. The male lead is a CEO and buys a martial arts house or academy, so he becomes a landlord. He has a bickering relationship with the female lead. Although she teaches young kids martial arts, she never really shows it off. The female lead character is little plain Jane, not very pretty and nothing too outstanding about her character. Miss Crow with Mr. Lizard In Miss Crow and Mr. Lizard, after a near-fatal accident, forces Gu Chuan to live a mere shadow of his former life, he begins to believe that his life has lost all meaning. Only after he meets our female lead does he begin to imagine that he can once again have a life actually worth living. Seeing how desperately alone and depressed Gu Chuan was before meeting her makes watching that spark of life return truly spectacular. Gu Chuan. Gu Chuan, you're 
Number 9. Legend of An Lei The play is adapted from the novel The Emperor's Book and it is reported that it will also be broadcast in September. Actor Ji Yuan, played by Di Ali Gerba, was the founding father of the country. Due to a sudden change in the family, he was exiled to the people. Unwilling to be choked by fate, she named Ren An Lei while helping the people. He is still investigating and understanding the truth of the family accident. In the process, she not only gained prestige and praise among the people, at the same time, he was also appreciated by Prince Han Ye and became his staff. With the help of the resourceful Ren An Lei, the two joined forces to investigate the case and experience the war together. In the end, the people won the dawn of peace. She and her perfect husband A marriage contract between a Didi and a JJ lawyer who doesn't want to marry, but they had to marry for their own purposes and then unexpectedly find true love in each other. The drama is also known as the 80-20 rule of love, which means this marriage is imbalanced as it favors one party, probably the wife. The husband loved her so much that he did everything for her, ergo becoming perfect in every way. This drama is going to be interesting because it is not going to be an idle romance. For you who want to see a drama without many cliché stories, she and her perfect husband are the best for you. <laughs> Thousand Years for You Recently, the show has officially opened for reservations and it should be aired soon. The drama Thousand Years for You has a multi-dynasty and multi-temporal background. It tells that Lu Yan, who has mysterious power, met Yu Deng Deng, the head of Qin Chuan village by accident. The two begin a thousand-year relationship, including the elements of ancient costume, Republic of China, and fantasy in the drama. Coupled with the good looks of Ren Jialun and Li Qin, people are looking forward to this drama. The Blue Whisper Part 1 Take a swim in the deep blue sea with the Blue Whisper as we learn more about mermaids and demons. Almost every Dilraba Dilmurat show is a big hit and we believe the Blue Whisper would be no exception. What's more, she will be acting alongside the nation's heartthrob, Ren Jialun. This two-part drama series depicts the struggles of Ji Yunhe who is a powerful demon master residing in the Demon Valley. She longs to explore the world free of her responsibilities, but is held back by a dark secret. Her mundane life gets disrupted when the cruel Princess Shunde sends a merman, Chang Yi, to the valley. She tasks Yun He with making the merman speak human language, grow human legs, and serve her with unwavering loyalty. However, as Yun He spends time with Chang Yi, she becomes torn between the choice of her own freedom or his. The killer is also romantic. The shortness of the drama left no space for filler episodes or unnecessary drama, which honestly was really great to watch. The emotion of the actors were very well portrayed, and I really loved seeing a female lead that was strong and could protect herself. It was definitely interesting enough to watch.